Multiple residents took the stand at the county commissioner's meeting Tuesday to discuss Article 5, a proposed ordinance that would ultimately place more restrictions on smaller animal operations. Basically increases different things like setbacks are all increased, different performance standards and requirements for virtually all sizes of ag producers. Some telling KCAU their biggest concern is special permitted uses, which would deny public notification or citizen input into new or expanding concentrated animal feeding operations. I drink well water. So if a CAFO inadvertently, I'm not saying that anyone would do it deliberately, inadvertently contaminates that aquifer, I have nothing to drink. An argument farmers like Chris Barkle and John Gunderson quickly shot down. Not having any notice that a CAFO is coming into your area is a flat out lie. DENR watches everything we do and monitors what we do very carefully. We have stacks of paper every year documenting what we do. We're not going to pollute an aquifer. As the heated discussion continues, Commissioner Sherry Lois says she's been working to be understanding of each side, but ultimately after nearly two years of debate, the county needs to come to an agreement. We committed to making some changes because of controversy over the last probably five, six years, um, and this was our attempt to compromise uh, what I would call two sides. But for now, the room remains divided. We're the ones actually in it every day. We wouldn't do something that's detrimental to our own health. It is not going to destroy agriculture in Yankton County. Agriculture will go on. 